Hi, it's Dan with EUJuicers.com, coming to you as always from our offices here in the heart of Europe. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly make raw vegan chocolate truffles using the Sauna 727 Supreme Juicer. So let's get started. So this recipe has six ingredients and the heart of the recipe are these two here. We have dates and raw cashews. These are Maidul dates, they've got that sweet caramely flavor and they just blend real well. And raw cashews, make sure not to get the roasted ones, those won't mix so well. And you want to soak these two ingredients for about five to ten minutes beforehand in water, then rinse them out real well. That will just help them blend together. And basically what I'll do is blend these two ingredients together using the Sauna 727 Supreme Juicer, but you can use any horizontal juicer as long as it has this. This is a homogenizing screen, also called a blank screen. There's no outlet for juice to come out of. Everything just gets crushed in here and mixed, processed, and sent into the bowl there. The Sauna 727 does have a variable speed. I'll start it at a lower speed. Um, I'll try speed two here. It also has this nice bowl here, unlike most uh, horizontal juicers, which makes it easier to feed things. I want to do equal parts of these two ingredients. I have a lot more cashews than I need, so I'll probably use about half of it. You just want to use this in a one-to-one -one ratio, maybe a little less if you don't like things so sweet, and I'll alternate ingredients. So that's all mixed together and just cut that bit off here, set these aside. That was about 250 grams of dates, about 250 grams of cashews. And what I'm going to do now, this substance is pretty sticky from the dates and a bit of water in there. So I'm going to add some coconut. How much coconut depends on how much you want. Typically about half the amount of what you had with the dates and the cashew. So in this case around 125 grams, but it, it's really up to you. This will bind things together, help it all stick, because I'm going to need to roll these later. I'll just put in some now, start mixing it. It'll absorb some of that extra moisture as well. I'll also add cocoa powder. That'll give the chocolatey flavor. Recipe calls for, with these amounts, three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Again, that's according to taste, how much you like that chocolate flavor. We'll go ahead and put in the three. The two now mix, let it mix a bit, and then add the last. And the last thing I want to add is coconut oil. That's going to not only bind things together, but it'll make it nice and smooth and shiny and help me to sort of shape it and form it later. This is just coconut oil. This was just over a tablespoon. That's probably all that's needed that I melted beforehand. And just stir it up real well. It'll take me a few minutes to really get it mixed and I'll come back when it's all mixed together. So I've mixed it all together. Last step is a little messy. What you want to do is roll these by hand in two little balls and then roll them into this. These are shelled raw hemp seeds. That'll add a nice protein, a nice texture, a real good flavor too. So just roll them in your hand about this size. And there's the first one. So I filled, filled up my cutting board here. I can still make a lot more. So you can see 250 grams of uh, dates and cashews plus the other ingredients makes a lot of these. So I'll try one out, see how it is. Mm -hmm. Really good, not too sweet, not too chocolatey. I think that was a good balance. You can taste the coconut in there a little bit. So again, remember you can Kind of alter the ingredients how you want according to your taste. Once these are done you want to put them in the fridge they'll kind of firm up after that and that'll wrap it up. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, stick around for our next video. I'm Dan with eujuicers.com, and I'll see you next time.